Hi there, hi there, this is Prophet Pastor Ryan. Uh, good morning to all of you. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Some of you are watching me on YouTube, some of you are watching me on Facebook, some of you are watching me on Periscope. I'm coming to you there. Some of you will be watching me live on Periscope, live on Facebook, live wherever you're watching me from. I greet you today. I'm coming with a message. Um, I told you I'm a modern day prophet. Modern day prophet, we talk about the things of the day. And the God has given me the gift of what I call the eyes of the scorpion. The eyes of the scorpion, these are the eyes that see in the dark. They are the, these are the eyes that see the unseen, meaning the things that you cannot see. God has given me that grace to see those things. And today I will be sharing the topic about wise man Daniel, wise man Daniel, T.B. Joshua, one of wise man Daniel. What he said about T.B. Joshua, where he is now and what he's doing now. Um, some people say he's still in the ministry. Some people say no, uh, he left the ministry. Some people say no, they are fighting. Chibu Joshua, the question is what is actually happening? Wise man Daniel, the kind of thing, the things that he said about Chibi Joshua. Now, some of you that don't know, you can contact me at prophet pastor and at gmail.com. Those of you that want prophecy, those of you that want, um, those of you that want, um, prayers, those of you that want dream interpretation, those of you that you want to get my book, Prophecy, Dreams, um, and Visions, you can contact me using prophet pastor and at gmail.com. Those of you that want my anointed beats, it's anointed beats, I will send you some anointed beats. The anointed beats are my personal beats. There's no other man of God that is giving that personal gift. The man of God that if you tell them that give me your this, they cannot give it to you. But this is my personal anointed beast. I ship them to you. I ship them to DHL. I ship them all over the world. And you can receive them by sowing your 20, 20 seeds, 220 um, dollars, 220 pounds, 220 euros, or 2020 rands. That's a 2020 20 seed. When you sow that seed, let me tell you something. Things will begin to happen in your life like this. One man sowed the seed and he said, my green card. He was waiting for his green card for many, many years. He says, the green card I've been waiting for was issued to me. One of my sons sold, sold the seed in Europe and all the, the permits, the permanent residence permit was given to them. Someone in the UK, they have permits issued to them. You are looking for permits. Sow that seed. When you sow that seed, I will send you my personal anointed beats. I've told you these beats, whatever delays in your life. So one lady got this anointed beats, went for a job interview. The moment he arrived for the job interview, after the interview, they told him you have the job and you start working today, 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 not tomorrow, you work now. And the lady said, she asked them, are you sure? Are you sure about what you're saying? They said, yes, you're working today, your job is starting now. After interview, immediately after interview, they say you're working today. That's how this anointed beats, that's how powerful the prophetic anointed beats are. Very powerful. Let me tell you something. It's anointed beats, one lady, she was, she was almost killed by her husband. The husband would come and beat her up and beat her three children and destroy things in the house, destroy. She wore this anointed beat. From that time she wore the anointed beat, the husband never touched her again. The husband never touched her again. Why? Because this anointed beat creates a false feel in the marriage. It creates a false feel in the family. There's a false feel around you that evil spirits cannot attack you. Let me tell you something. Marriage is not natural, it's spiritual. And those of you that are married, you think that marriage is natural, it's not natural, it's spiritual. The people that they are married, their husbands were fine, everything was fine. After just fine, your husband started acting funny. What happened? A spirit has entered inside him. Some of you were married, your wife was fine, everything was fine. After just finding your wife started disappearing from the house, what happened? A spirit has entered inside of him, of her. Your wife and I'm on my phone now. I'm always on my phone. Those are writing me very soon. I'm going to be doing direct WhatsApp messages. And some of you, that, some of you have already have my WhatsApp messages. You can contact me, but you write through email prophetpastorana.gmail.com. I'm seeing Fabian Anthony. I see you, Abraham. Thank you. I see you. You you, you did a correction and prophesied to you, Abraham. Things are going to happen in your life because you're a man of faith. This boy is a man of faith. Let me tell you something. Something's happened. That name, a let me tell you, Abraham. God has called you. That's the peace, the joy that you're looking for will only come when you come, when we close contact with God. Close contact because when I look for your from your name Abraham and I look in the I decode it in the realm of the spirit, I see that when you're in close contact with God and close fellowship with God, blessings will begin to overflow in your life. Never ever abandon God, Abraham. I see Patrick, I greet you, Patrick. I see Godfrey. I see I see money, money, my son, money, I greet you. I see Jojo, my daughter, Jojo. God is going to work miracles in your life and never before. I see um I see Emmanuel. I greet you, Emmanuel. Um, I see Tessa, Tessa, my daughter, I greet you, Tessa. God is doing something in Grenada. Grenada, my daughter in Grenada. God will do something. Through you, your whole family shall be protected. Let me tell you something. This COVID-19 coronavirus will not come close to your house. There are people around you that will have the coronavirus, but in your family, they will not get it. Those that have these anointed beats will not get that coronavirus, Tessa. I'm speaking now, Maxine Clote. Maxine, I see you, I see you. I see Maxine Clote. I want to speak to you, Maxine Clote. Maxine Clote, I see something happening. I see something like a financial increase. I see like you know, something like, like your salary being increased or you're being put, promoted to a new role with, with more salary, with more money, something about more money, some financial increase. I'm seeing the realm of the spirit. I'm speaking to Maxine, some financial increase. Maxime, I'm looking at the phone. This is my phone. This is my phone. 
messages are in here i'm i'm replying i'm replying i'm replying where is the right to me no thunders i greet you i told you no thunders you're, you're protected let me tell you something although you're in your office sometimes they're trying to fight you they're trying to put you down they're trying to do this but let me tell you something god will stabilize you in that office you're going to get favor that like never before i see table i see clearance i greet you clearance i see dane then brown i greet you then brown you're a man of god um your man of God, God has called you for something. I see ministry. There's a ministry inside of you, Dan Brown. It's a ministry God wants to put inside of you, especially the prophetic. Teresta Bannister, I greet you, Teresta Bannister. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of them. I can't call all of them. There are thousands of them. I cannot call them. Mula, Gladys Mula, I greet you, Gladys. Your are bees are coming. Your anointed bees are coming. Um, Maria, 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 your anointed bees. I sent your anointed bees, Maria. God is doing something. She wrote, Buenas noches. Buenas noches, gracias. Saludos. This is saludos. This is Spanish. Maria, this is Spanish. My daughter, she's in Miami. She speaks Spanish. Tell you, buenas noches. I speak Spanish. <laughs> My goodness, buenas noches and uh, gracias. Gracias. I know you miss. Thank you. And saludos. Maybe greetings. Maria, see Maria. Look, a lot of them. A lot of them. Um, Vyukazi. Vyukazi. I see your message. I will respond to you. One the anointed beach. You want to see your twenty twenty? People that want to see. Listen, some of you have got my account. Just saw the twenty twenty. Send the proof of payment. Put your title. Proof of payment. Twenty twenty C. Proof of payment. Twenty twenty C. Send me that email. You have my account. You, you have my account number. You got my bank details. If you want to get my paper receiver's details, write to me. I will send you the papers. Uh, not paper. Uh, uh, monogram. Monogram with receiver details. Send, send to me. I will send you monogram receiver details. Um, a lot of them. Frida. Um, my goodness. My goodness, I cannot even call their names. There are many Felician. I greet you, Felician. So I want to talk about this thing. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this uh, wise, um, wise man Daniel. Where is he? And people say he's in Squan. He's not in Squan. I don't see in Squan. I'll show you where he is. You watch. I'll put the video. You see where he is. What is what he said about T.B. Joshua? People of God, viewers all over the world, this is wise man Daniel, your brother, your son. And your friend in the Lord, the God of my mentor, Senior Prophet TB Joshua, for his love, mercy, and favor upon my life. I know he lost me so much. In fact, he lost me as much as he does any of his apostles. To God be the glory for that. There are mysteries about the synagogue church of all nations. I know if we ask you, what can you say about this ministry called the SCORN, the Synagogue Church of All Nations? You say, well, um, the Synagogue Church of All Nations is the center of spiritual excellence, the arena of liberty, where miracle signs and wonders happen on daily basis or weekly basis. Through the faculties of his able servant, Senior Prophet TV Joshua, and recently anointed apostles. Be careful when you start criticizing men of God. Be careful because I see people in Nigeria, they like the tendency of criticizing prophets of God. And in my channel, I've made a point in my channel that I don't criticize men of God because a rabbi was asked, a rabbi was asked, Rabbi, why is it that most people are dying young? And the rabbi says people are dying wrong because of ch chakra, chakra. So they ask the rabbi, what is chakra? He says, chakra is something that burns the soul in the mouth. So they say, check it, what is that rabbi talking about? So another rabbi, many years after started checking, what is that rabbi talking about? Then he says, it's because words, they've got charges. They've got negative charges and positive charges. If you put two negative charges together, it creates a spark. For those of you that have studied electricity, people that do electrical engineering, if you put two negatives together, it's spark. If you put negative and positive, they go together. If you put, if you put negative together, it creates a spark. That spark, remember every word, every letter has got a charge, it's got a negative and a positive, and every word has got an. It, and so, if you take a word, it's got actually a negative word or a positive. That's why the word Satan is a negative word. All those evil words, the word to kill is a negative word. All those words in Hebrew is a negative word. But if you take those words together and if you speak negative things together for a long time, you put you put so many negative words together, it creates spark. And that spark can burn. That's why the Bible says something. The Bible says the tongue, as small as it is, it can set the whole body on fire. It says because the tongue is like a match, it creates a spark. It create a spark so you can actually make a spark at the same time it can create a blessing if you put too many positive positive words together the positive things that you're putting together they create blessing in your life they're building things they're creating things in your life so that's why in my channel i don't allow any negative comments if you want to come with negative comments i don't allow it your negative comments are gone deleted and those of you that say negative comments will be blocked from my channel blocked you never come to the channel again
That's the kind of man I go because I don't want you to die. So when you see negative comment, you can say negative things in my channel, you end up dying. Come to this channel. Any negative kind of comment. If you have any negative comment, keep it to yourself. Swallow that comment. Don't comment that criticism. That's why I don't criticize any man of God. I'm a modern day prophet. I don't criticize man of God. That's why you see my prophets are coming to God is giving me blessing. God has not given any man of God any mandate to go about criticizing another man of God. The Bible says the, 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 the Satan is the accuser of the brethren. He gets up every day to accuse other Christians. He gets up every day to accuse other prophets. Every day. The Bible says something. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. What are the anointed? The anointed are people like pastors, the people like 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 um evangelists, all those people that are anointed. But when it comes to the prophet, he says, Do my prophet not harm. Why is he saying do my prophet not harm? Because when it comes to prophet, the devil just want to destroy the prophet. That's why I see Prophet Chibi Joshua he gave a prophecy and he said that coronavirus will finish on the 27. Now on the 27 of March, the coronavirus will not end. And I gave another prophecy, so I don't see it any. The people took that whole thing and started criticizing Prophet Tibi Joshua. He says he's a fake prophet. He's a fake. One, one wrong prophecy cannot make a person a fake prophet. When God created us, He needed us. The desire to preach. Or they need to preach the gospel, they need to evangelize, they need to prophesy, they need to do everything. That need was put inside us by God. So he needed us. We are not needy people. So don't go back criticizing Prophet Tibi Joshua says a needy person. He said he's a true man of God. He's one prophecy that did not go the way that he said. He may have had he may have had different things because people were not praying, but it doesn't mean he's a fake prophet and people are criticizing. And people, some people will also write to me and criticize and say this and that and that. No, no, no. I'm not a needy person. I'm not a needy person. I am needed. So when I get up in the morning, I get up. Who needs me? I don't think about what I need. I think about who needs me. And God needs me. God cannot create something that he doesn't need. He created me because he needed me. And because he needed me, I must do what he asked me to do. That's love. True love is doing what God has asked you to do. The love of God is not sit and clapping your hand on Sunday in church. The true love is doing what God has asked you to do. What God has commanded you to do, you do it. That's the true love. That's the proof that you love God. So why Blan Daniel was out, he's preaching now. He's going out. He's starting his own ministry. He's, he left the school. And, but remember, I said to you, he was sent out to go and preach, to go and evangelize. And he has not said anything negative. In matter of fact, he even prays and thanked Prophet Chibi Joshua. That's what happens. If you're a son of a prophet, one of my sons, that's why none of my sons defied me. All my sons are a blessing to me. All my sons, all my daughters, all over the world are a blessing. I got thousands of them. Thousands of them. They are a blessing to me. They get up every day, they thank me and they bless me. Every day they thank me and they some percent see, they send this, they send that. Let me tell you why. Because we 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 we, we receive prophecy what I call in the realm of God. We see far beyond what others can see. That's why when I prophesied, the prophecy the prophecy came exactly. When I prophesied about uh, Donald Trump, I prophesied about um, Boris Johnson, all of them came exactly as I was prophesying. Exactly, I prophesied about um, this coronavirus. They came exactly as I was saying. I said it started in China. It came exactly as I was saying. I said it was a, it was created. It was not something that just just came from nowhere. It was created in the laboratory. I prophesied it came exactly. So what am I saying? I'm saying when you get up in the morning, whatever I want to do, don't do things because of what people say do things because of those that need you that's why the bible says jesus was moved with compassion he was about doing good and healing all the sick he was moved with compassion for miracles to start working on life more move compassion compassion is not about what you need compassion is who needs you compassion means that i'm not acting because of the way i feel i'm ask i'm acting because of the of who needs me there are many people that need me there are many people that write to they need me if i look at my email more than 1800 1900 every time i got it almost 500 600 emails a day it's very very it's a lot of people that needs me so i'm not preaching for the people that don't need me i'm preaching for those that need me and for those that need me the blessing of god will come there that's why i give this anointed beat to them i give anointed beat to them i'll send this anointed beats for those that is that they need me they need me those are the ones that i give the anointed beats it works those that have these anointed beats nobody has come back to me and say i've got coronavirus those are what is anointed. No one man has come up to me and say, Man of God, I was wearing your, your, your anointed beats. I found that I got coronavirus. <coughs> because it's a plague. This plague will not come close to your house. It will not come close. The Bible says, the Bible says, God told Moses, tell your people, the people that I'm going to send a plague in Egypt. And I'm telling them to mark a, a blood on their door. When that blood is marked on their door, when the death angel comes, will skip their house. When the coronavirus comes, will skip your house. It will not come into your house. You skip your house. Let me tell you something. Many people have forgotten where they came from. The Bible says there was a Pharaoh, a wicked Pharaoh that attacked the children of Israel, that attacked Moses and the children of Israel. He attacked them. He attacked those people. But but what you don't understand about that Pharaoh is that the Pharaoh forgot that those people that he were attacking, they were they were chosen of God. 
He was trying to destroy them, but he forgot that they were chosen. There was a Pharaoh in the days of Joseph that promoted Joseph, made good Joseph governor over Egypt. Another wicked Pharaoh came to destroy the children of Israel, but that wicked Pharaoh forgot that they were children of God. The coronavirus is forgetting that you are a child of God, you are chosen of God, and those that are chosen are protected, and if you are protected, no sickness can come close to you. The Bible says you are the apple of God's eye. God cannot allow his eyes to be infected with coronavirus. I pray for the name of Jesus, I'm running out of time. You are well, be healed, and I will just write to me, and, I will, and miracles will begin to take place in your life. In Jesus' name, I'm running out of time. Amen.